everyone, I have a yard sale haul. Um, my mom has actually been off work for the past two days and my dad's retired, so they have been yard sailing since Thursday, but I've been working so I haven't had a chance to go until today. So I'm going to show you guys what my mom found for me and then I will show you guys what I found today. Um, there wasn't many yard sales that were just Saturday, so, um... You know, I didn't really get a chance to go to many, but my mom got me a lot of stuff uh, the past two days that she's gone. So I'm going to show you guys what she found me. Um, she found me two vintage Dooney and Burke purses, and the lady had $5 a piece on them, but she ended up taking $2 a piece, so my mom only paid $4 for the both of them. So they're just, they're kind of similar in style. They're like a drawstring kind of bucket bag. This one's green uh, with just like a little um, tassel front. So that one's green and brown. And then this one is more of a um, lighter brown, like navy color, but it's still like the same style. So that's what that one looks like. So for $2 a piece, that's not a bad deal for a um, vintage Duty and Burke purse. So she found me those. Uh, she also found me this bag. And this is actually from a store that's pretty um, popular at the beach. Um, same store that I got the beach dress that I got in my one haul video. But this is brand new. It still has the tags attached. And it retailed for... Um, $24. And it's just a brown bag with these big old sequins on it. So that's different. It's cute. So she got me that. And inside was just this vintage um, perfume bottle. I don't really collect perfume bottles. I collect more of like the atomizers. The ones that have like the poofy things on that you um, squeeze. So, you know, I, I don't think I'm keeping this because it's not really something I could fill up because it was like an actual bottle of perfume. So I'm probably just going to throw this away. But um, she got me that for like, I think it was 25 cents. And she found me this hat box. And I have quite a few of these. I don't know if you guys can see this. But it's just like a big old hat box. And... So this I think was $2 and these just come in handy for storing stuff so I don't actually have hats in them but um, the inside kind of has like this lining print of um, shorts which I haven't tried on yet so I don't know how they fit. She got me a couple pieces of clothing. This is just a black um, tank top with these like silver grommets on them so just kind of um, a silky material um, these tops I don't care for and I told her that uh, what did I I forget what I um, said that they looked like when when she um, brought me the stuff but these are like very I don't know kind of like hippie-esque I guess you'd say but um, that's what that one looks like. So I'll probably sell these at a yard sale because they're just not my style. And this one is similar. It's just very... This one still has the tags attached. But they're just... They're not They're not my style. So, And then this also... I'm not... I, I mean, this is cute just to like wear as, you know, a t-shirt. But um, I'm not into Angry Birds. So... Those three tops were kind of a, hmm, sorry mom, not really feeling it. Um, she got me this little zebra plush, and he sings, I'm sexy and I know it when you press the button, but I'm not going to press it because it is a ra rather annoying song, and I always felt that way about it. Uh, but the little plush is cute. He's got like a little keychain strap. Um, she got me this sports bra. This is really pretty. It's, um black with the straps are padded and they kind of have like a glittery look to them so that's brand new with the tags so I do like that 
Um, she found me a Kenneth Cole wallet, and this still has the tags as well. This is a black long wallet, and the inside kind of has like a signature logo print. And then like this right here is like a place to put your phone. However, I don't know if my phone will fit in there. It kind of looks a little small. But um, the whole thing's magnetic, so that's pretty cool. So she got me that. She got me this perfume set. This is by Beverly Hills Polo Club. It's called Sexy Hot. It comes with a body spray and a perfume, and that's new. Um, this perfume is called rain sugar or something like that which just looks like that this perfume is called moonlight ever after which is probably just like a you know one of those like generic -y type perfumes that are supposed to smell like something else but I don't know what it's supposed to smell like or where it was from I have no idea and she found me these two um makeup sets. This one is called Create the Look in Luscious Lips and these are new. These are just by like the Color Institute and they like bring these out during like the holidays and stuff. So this has five lip pencils and two lip glosses inside. So that's pretty sweet. And then she also got me this one which is also new and it's called just pretty much the ultimate makeup set. And it looks like that. And these look like books. And then the inside of this has eyeshadow, mascara, blush, nail polish, eyeliner, like the whole nine yards. So, yeah, these are by the Color Institute, which I think also makes um, the Wet n Wild products. So, they should have pretty decent pigmentation in them. And this is what the inside of the hat box looks like. Which it still has like the little silica beads in actually. So I don't even know if they use that. And now I'm going to show you guys what I got today. Well, my mom actually bought like a, um, a towel set for the bathroom. Not her bathroom, but um, someone else's bathroom. And there was just, there was a bunch of hand towels. So she asked me if I wanted one. And I took one to put in my powder room downstairs because I think it'll match pretty well. And it's just like a burgundy um, towel with like a gold trim. And the lady said she never actually used them. They were just kind of like for decoration. Which most of these towels you kind of do just use for decoration because they're just, you know, not made of really amazing material to be using and washing on a constant basis. And then um, I found this little dish towel set and this was a dollar fifty um they were fifty cents a piece so it came with a little hand towel and it has cupcakes on it and then it has two um dish cloths and i like these because they have that netting on the back so it's i like the ones with the netting on the back because they can scrub a little better so i got those though i'll probably dunk them up right away which sucks but that's why I don't like spending a lot on dish towels because they just grow quickly. Uh, I found I found this cardigan and it's just a pink cardigan with gold buttons. It's by New York and Company and I paid a dollar for it. It's just like pink with like a striping kind of and it just looks like that. I thought it was cute. Just something to throw over something else kind of thing. Um, my mom got me this bracelet today and she paid three dollars for it. It was in this box. Um, this wasn't the original box but it's just got these like sequins and rhinestones and stuff on them which it really like glitters in the light when the light catches it. So I wore that today while I was out with her. Oh and she also gave me this ring. Um, it's like a little spoon ring, and I have a couple of these, not one that really looks like this, but um, it was too small for her, so she gave it to me. So I got that. Oh, I found this purse, and this is just by the icing. It's nothing, you know, spectacular or anything like that brand-wise. 
but it's made of this really soft material, very soft. I don't think it's, it's not real leather or anything like that, but, um, it's just very soft feeling, if, if you know what I'm saying. And it's brand new, and it's a crossbody bag, which I love. And I just like the look of it. It had two little buckles on the front and, um, a zipper part. And then the inside just looks like that. But it was new, and it was $1, so still a very good deal. I found this little cupcake notebook, um, or notepad, I should say. This was originally from TJ Maxx, and I paid 50 cents for it. So I thought that was really pretty. Um, let's see. I got... I got this little um, OPI Evo Juice in Jasmine, and I have like two other of these in this scent, and it's like one of my favorite scents, so whenever I see it, I have to buy it because it smells really good. So this was a quarter, and it's new. And then at the same table where I bought that, I bought like all of the ladies' Bath & Body Works pocket bags. Um, she had quite a, quite a few of them, so there was three... There were six of them, so I bought all six, and two of them are in s'mores. I got one in cilantro peach, vanilla berry sorbet. Um, this one's called I Love Bling, which is in rock candy. And this one's island margarita. So, these are 25 cents a piece, which I think is just a great deal. I mean, I know they're only like $1.50 in the store, but for a quarter, like, it's hard to pass that up. Because these are just so, like, convenient to put in your purse. So, I got all of those. I bought every single one that she had. And then, um, I also went to Big Lots, so I'm going to show you guys what I got, because I only got three things, so I'm throwing this in the video. But, um, I was watching, um... Stephanie's last Big Lots haul, and she, oh, I'm missing a yard sale stuff. I'm missing something else that I got at the yard sale. I got this bracelet, and it still has the tag attached, but the tag was, um, ripped. But it's just like a blue snap uh, bracelet. It's really soft. I don't know what it's made out of. Kind of like a suede felt material. And then it just has like a three rows of little studs so that was 25 cents but anyway big lots uh i was watching stephanie's last big lots haul on um, couponing girl and she hauled a soft lip slip balm and i've seen these in big lots um i think it was last week but i didn't get one and i had been thinking about it since i had seen it and then i watched her video and i saw that she got one and she opened it up and showed it and like that just kind of I had to get it after she showed it because for some reason it was in this it's in a container like this and for some reason I was thinking it's like one of the like potted lip balms that you have to like dip your finger in and put on and as much as I love lip balm and you know I have lip balms like that that I absolutely love but I don't always like digging my finger in something and you know I like convenience when it comes to lip products and once I saw that it was like domed, kind of like an EOS balm, I was like, I have, I have to go get one. Now these are $3.50 at Big Lots, which I think is still a little high for Big Lots, but they are soft lips, and I guess they're like a new thing, but they're called soft lip cubes, and I always say it's hard for me to like not dig into things when I buy stuff because I want to try it right away, and I actually had to dig into this as soon as I bought it because I was very curious. Um... My Big Lots only had this flavor, and it's vanilla bean, which is perfectly fine because I love vanilla. It's one of my favorite scents. But the packaging just looks like this. It's like a little, it looks like an ice cube to me. It's about the same size as like a big old um, ice cube chunk. Um, and this is what it looks like when you unscrew the top. It's just like a little dome, you know, like an EOS lip balm. 
and it's very, very moisturizing, and it has a good scent, too. And, I mean, I like the EOS lip balms, don't get me wrong, but I just don't feel like they're super moisturizing. Um, granted, you get more product in the EOS balms, but this is so moisturizing, and I really, really like that. So, um, I definitely would recommend these if you see them anywhere, even for $350. Um, you know, it's a good lip balm. So, I got that, and I only got two other things. I got this bag of Honey Roasted Sunflower Kernels, and these were $2. And I typically buy my sunflower seeds and stuff like that at the Dollar Tree, but I didn't get to the Dollar Tree this week. Um, but I really wanted to try these because they were honey roasted, and that sounds so good to me right now because I'm starving. But, um... But, or yeah, at Dollar Tree, they only just really have, like, the salted uh, sunflower kernels. I've never seen, like, um, a flavor of the, like, just the kernels. So, I got these, and I was comparing them to, like, another bag of honey roasted sunflower kernels. And, um, these ones actually had, like, less calories, and you got more product. So... I went with these. I haven't tried them yet, but, I mean, they probably really won't be disappointing, so I got those. And then the last thing I got, and I saw this um, while we were leaving, and I just, I just had to have it. It's a scarf, and it's just, it's so cute. It's got these hot pink, um, like, skulls on it with crossbones, and then there's also, like, some butterflies in between. There's, like, um little green butterflies and uh, pink butterflies and there's some stripage on the bottom but um I thought this was super cute and it was actually on clearance it was originally six dollars and it was marked down to um, three dollars so and I was looking in big lots like they had they had like a clearance section at like the end of an aisle um, and they had like a lot of stuff for like 50 cents and a dollar, but I didn't, I didn't buy any of them. They had, um, some body lotions for a dollar and they had, um, some sort of, some sort of shower gel, um, it's called like Mont Blanc or something like that. And that was only like, uh like a, a dollar fifty maybe or maybe just a dollar I don't even remember it smelled okay but not enough that I wanted to purchase it but I mean how cute is this scarf it is very very cute so I am very happy with what I bought but um that is my yard sale haul and very small big lots haul and I hope you guys liked it and I will see you next time